We start here at 10 with a breaking news update for the second time in less than a week. Chicago students are mourning the loss of a classmate. Three high schoolers were shot. One of them killed in Edgewater just as class was letting out for the day. The kids were just a few blocks away from Sen High School when the bullets started flying. CBS 2's Maribel Gonzalez is live from Illinois Masonic. Maribel, the mayor and police superintendent talked about the violence tonight. Yeah, Joe and Erica both calling and pleading for the end of violence, but especially the kind that's targeting the youth, both vowing to hold those shooters accountable. All while tonight, one of those teens is dead, another one fighting for his life, and a third one recovering from his gunshot injury at this hospital. Three Chicago students shot in broad daylight just steps away from Sen High School where they attend. There were three individuals, all juveniles, ranging between the ages of 15 to 16, walking. There was a vehicle that pulled up. Several individuals got out of that vehicle and fired weapons in the direction of these individuals, striking all three. The shooting killing 16 year old Davion Gibson and injuring two other minors, one of whom was sent to the hospital in critical condition. Police say this was targeted. The streets of this Edgewater neighborhood between Lakewood and Magnolia Avenues blocked off while investigators combed for evidence. Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson pleading for an end to the gun violence. Whatever conflict, whatever pain, that you are expressing, this is not the way to do it. The loss of life is tearing at the fabric of this city. This latest shooting marking the second one involving CPS students in less than a week. Last Friday, two teens shot dead in the loop during their lunch break. Chicago Superintendent Larry Snelling clarifying the two are not connected and says they'll be upping their patrol at these and other schools. Across the districts, across the entire city, we will make sure that we have a police presence um, uh, at dismissal and at the time that students are arriving at school. We have to push back against this type of violence, this type of brazenness. We have to protect our children. Now, police did not say what kind of car they're looking for. That is still under investigation. So far, no arrests, not at this shooting by Sen High School, nor at the one last Friday by Innovations High School in the Loop. Reporting live from Illinois Masonic Hospital, Maribel Gonzalez, CBS 2 News. Maribel, thank you.